you so much for coming back to my channel. So today's video is just going to be just a sort of mini B&M haul. We nipped up to our local B&M just because we actually needed to get a birthday present for one of Aria's little friends. Um, it was his birthday a couple of days ago. But if you're anything like me, you can't just go into B&M and pick up one thing and leave. I obviously went in and spent a little bit more money than I probably should have, but I love B&M and especially seeing all the Christmas stuff was, oh, I could have spent so much more money, but luckily or unluckily, my husband was with me, so he didn't let me buy too much, but I did buy a couple of Christmas things. First things first, I'm going to show you the gift that we got for Aya's little friend. Where did it go? Oh, it's down here. So I asked her what he was into and she said that he loves cars and he loves like fire trucks and things like that. So I saw this, it was only 7 99 and so I saw this, it's called Glow Tracks. Um, so basically you can make your own little track, it goes in the dark and you can obviously do different shapes with it and you race your car along it. So I thought it was really cute. It's obviously just a sort of small gift, just a little birthday gift. Um, so we decided just to get him something like this. I was looking, um, there was a couple of remote control cars, but they were like about 15, 16 pound and they didn't look that good. Um, and what else did we see? There wasn't really any fireman stuff. I said that he would love it. So that's obviously an approval from her. So I say to her all the time, who did you play with at nursery? She always says this little boy's name. Um, and they play fire trucks and they play dinosaurs and they play outside in the garden together. So this is, this got the area approval. So this is what we got for him. And I thought for 7 99 that was quite good. Um, I thought they had birthday cards at being in, but they didn't seem to have any, so I can nip up to Asda. So that was the first thing we purchased. And then to go with that, I just picked up just some little Smarties to go with that. Um, and if I go into Asda and I see anything else that's small, I might add it to it, because it was obviously only $7.99, it was quite a good price. If I see sort of any little mini trucks or anything like that, I think that he will enjoy. There was another thing that we saw, but it was six plus, and obviously because he's only just turned four, um, that's at the parent's discretion whether you buy a toy that's obviously older than the age that they are. Um, I think it was because there was batteries in it, but obviously that is up to them. So I decided not to go for that. So yeah, I got them that with the Smarties and I might have a wee look in Asda to see if there's something else to go with it as well. But that was his birthday gift. So that was kind of like the main reason we went in, but then obviously I bought more. My last B&M haul, I bought a couple of um, baking things and I do love to have baking things in to do with Aria, especially we're in this kind of semi lockdown again, so we're not going to go too far. Obviously we're going out for walks, but it's nice to have some baking things in. So I thought I actually might do it for a video in a couple of weeks, but I bought some Halloween stuff. So I picked up one of these little jars. So I've picked up this before. This is just a Halloween cookie mix. And so what it is, it's really good. They're just, it's basically you empty this whole thing into a bowl. And I think for this one, you maybe just add butter. So basically I'm adding this into a bowl with some butter and that is it. So that's really good. Sometimes you have to add like an egg to a mixture in these jars um, or whatever. But this was just a Halloween cookie mix. So I thought that was really cute to do. Then I picked up this Halloween ghost cupcake mix. I think these were all a pound as well, which I thought was really good. Obviously we don't need to do them all in one day, but I thought they were good to have. And then I also picked up this Halloween unicorn skeleton and bat biscuits. So I thought they would be fun to do. So I thought... It was quite good to have sort of like a little selection of baking things in to do with Aria. Um, and we love having stuff like this, especially this time of year when it's getting colder and you're not really going out as much. And obviously because we're in this lockdown again, it's kind of like a semi-lockdown. It's like a lot of places are closing early and you're not allowed to go into people's houses anymore. You're not allowed to, I think you're only allowed to meet outside up to groups of something. I don't even know if I'm honest. I'm just avoiding everybody just now. So anyway, got these. So the other sort of Halloween thing that I got was these little ghosts. I thought they were so cute. So I actually got three of them. They're only a pound each. And I thought they were really cute. I don't know where I'm actually going to put them. I just loved them. I saw them. So they actually... Take a little tag out. Hey, little... How cute are they? For a pound, I thought that was actually really good. So I picked up the white one. Aria's favourite colour is purple. So obviously I then had to pick up the purple one. And obviously I'll do the same sort of thing. And then orange is just the Halloween colour, isn't it? So yeah, I don't know why I picked them up, but I thought they were cute. And for only a pound, I thought they were really sweet. Probably put them in Aria's room, maybe put them on the table downstairs. Um, when we're like carving our pumpkins, they'll be nice to sort of have lying around. And I don't know, just for cute. I just thought they were really cute. So yeah, they were only a pound each. Again, really good deal. There was actually quite a mixture of Halloween stuff, but it was funny because the one we were at, it was literally one aisle had Halloween and then you're walking up the other aisle and it had Christmas. So yeah, I love Christmas. But anyway, I thought they were cute. So I picked up those. And then going down the cleaning aisle, I picked up this. So this is obviously Fabulosa, as you guys know, if you've been watching my channel, I'm obsessed with the Fabulosa products. 
but this was a spray and wear so it's i think it's just sort of to spray and like freshen up your clothing sort of as on the go fabulous a spray and wear it refreshes clothes and fabrics while eliminating 99 percent bacteria that causes unpleasant smells spray about 20 to 25 centimeter distance on fabric in a sweeping motion to ensure proper coverage allow to dry before wearing so i think it's if obviously if you've got a pair of jeans that you just want to wear before you wash them again um or a jumper or something and this is actually the electric electrify smell one. Oh, it smells i was actually about to just offer you a smell a bit silly of me so i got this one i've actually had the carpet freshener in this smell and i love it it's all over my hands now so yeah i picked that up this was only one pound yeah this was only a pound and then if you guys know obviously i recently got my hair done i said i wasn't going to tie it up in a bun but it's so windy here today that i had to do it um i am trying to curl my hair more and sort of weigh it down and when i curl it then i have to brush it through and it gets really frizzy because i have naturally really frizzy quite bushy hair so i picked up this frizz and free frizz free and fabulous oh, well wow, that's hard to say frizz free and fabulous sort of serum it's like an anti-frizz one put it on my damp hair or i can put it on my wet um dry hair so i'm thinking maybe once i've curled it and i've brushed it through i can kind of put it in my hair to sort of like being like basically pushing out so i'm hoping that will tame it and it was only a pound so i thought it was worth trying and then if that sort of thing does work then i can sort of have a look around if you guys have any recommendations on better ones to use i think this is i don't even know what this brand is this is um, one that I just picked up in B&M but obviously there's so much to choose from and it can be quite overwhelming on what to even sort of start with so yeah I got this thought I'd try it out for a pound and then obviously if I like it then I will see how I get on with that and then the other sort of last cleaning thing we got was a new brush now if you've again been watching my channel you'll know I think it was in my 20 minute whole house clean with me challenge so I was like running around like a dafty trying to clean my whole house and I got to the kitchen I was trying to sweep the floor and the head of the brush kept coming off and it's I've glued it and everything it just doesn't stick and it just it's every time you put any form of pressure on it it just pops off so I got this one it was actually reduced it was only five pound and it's a flash broom so obviously flash is a good make but it's the main thing is it's actually a screw on so it won't pop off like the other one it'll be screwed in and it'll stay on so you always need I like I was coping without my brush in the kitchen I had my little handheld sort of brush and um shovel whatever you call it indoor one and I was using my sort of hoover with a long nozzle but something you just need a brush to get right under your table so got this for five pound and obviously thought that was quite good and I needed a new one so that's what we got there well, as you guys know, I'm obsessed with my candles at the moment. I'm absolutely loving them, especially getting into this time of year. It's so nice to have them on. And I was kindly sent by Bex from Life with Kids and Cats um, some wax melts. And I've been using them. So I picked up another wax melt. Um, what do you call this? A wax melt holder, user thing. So obviously you put your little tea light in there and then you put on the wax melts on top and get a beautiful smell the smell of these wax melts is incredible it's from a lady called Paige so I will link her page down below again but her scents are amazing I'm actually going to message her soon and see if I can get some more sent to me so I picked up this this was only three pound and I thought it kind of had that sort of Christmassy vibe it wasn't in the Christmas section but it was the only one they had and I actually quite liked it so yeah and it can stay out all year it's not like it's just a Christmas one so I picked that up and then I used to pick up some more just plain tea lights for this and that was only 2 99 for 80 so it was a value pack, two ninety nine for the ADT light. So I picked up those for my wax melts, and yeah, I'm really excited. So I've got those, and then kind of along the same lines, I picked up some of these refillable gas lighters. I'm always using matches, but I'm actually about to run out. So I picked up this. It was a pack of three. There was a pack of two, but it was only like fifty pence cheaper. So I thought I'll just get the three, see how I get on with them. I'm not sure how good they'll be, but for two ninety nine, you can't go wrong. So yeah, I got some clippers. And so in our downstairs, in our shower, we have obviously a thing on the side that you put your shampoos and everything. I got it maybe, I think it was about March, just at the start of lockdown, I got it because we were needing something, but it's rusted really badly and I've tried to clean it and tried to keep it dry and it just doesn't look good. So we found this plastic one and this was only £3.99 um, and obviously it can be moved so this can come even lower so there's loads of space for the bottles and so my husband thought maybe just for 3 dollars we'll give it a wee try see how it folds it might not be sturdy enough um for what we're looking for but the one that's in the bathroom is really rusty and it just needs to kind of go now um unfortunately i thought it would have been better not the end of the world if it doesn't um work out if it's not big enough i can maybe i'll find another use for it for sure so yeah for 3 dollars we thought we'd try that out in our downstairs bathroom and then 
of course my husband needed a sweet when we were in there and him and my kids are obsessed with um jelly sweets like cables and stuff so this was a dry pack but like looking at the packaging right you think they're going to be really long and obviously i know they squashed out it just seems a bit wasteful packaging for that size i don't know i just think we could have i don't know i think it looks a bit i think it's just a bit wasteful anyway my husband's excited to try them and got them for him and my daughter to eat obviously not all tonight but well my husband might eat them all tonight anyway yeah got them and so the final few things were actually christmas related so Obviously, I know it's early, but guys, if you know me, I'm obsessed with Christmas and with the year the way it's been and how we've all been feeling, I think we all just need a little bit of Christmas cheer a wee bit earlier this year. So I was actually saying to my husband last night, I think it was, that in about a month's time, which will take us to end October, it'll be time to start pulling out the Christmas decorations to see what we have so that I can see what I need to get before I start decorating. I think I will start decorating early November. I do usually like to decorate sort of mid to late November, but I think this year we're going to bring it forward and we're going to decorate early just because of the year that we've had. I think we all need some sort of Christmas coziness and I'm so excited. So I picked up if you, I don't know if any of you really watched my videos from last year. I decorated on, I filmed like putting my tree up and everything. So our tree is not like a proper pretty tree. It's quite classic colours, loads of colourful sort of decorations and it's quite messy looking but it's just a really personal tree. There are some decorations on there but there's also a lot of personal sort of meaningful decorations. So this is probably more of a just a normal decoration but I thought it was really cute and I just thought it was really 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 Christmassy. I loved it. As soon as I saw it I said to my husband I have to have that. He's like yeah that's totally you. So it was only £1.50 and it's actually quite heavy but for one fifty, I thought the quality was really really good. Um, there was so much, I honestly could have picked up so much, but I just picked up one for now. I think if my husband wasn't there, I probably would have picked up more. But I need to watch because I'm spending too much money and obviously it is coming up to Christmas. I actually think we've almost finished buying my son's Christmas presents. If you know, or if you don't know, we are a family that live on a budget, so we have to spread out the cost of things like Christmas. And we start shopping sort of August, September, and I've picked up the majority of my son's things because I found really good deals on them all. Um, if you guys are actually interested in me sharing the tips and tricks that I use to save money, especially at Christmas and birthdays, please let me know down below and I'm happily do a video on that. I was thinking of sharing the sort of things that I do to save money on my Christmas presents and things like that um, mid-October. So if that's something you guys are interested in, please just let me know down below because I use these things and it always helps me save up a little bit of money um, at Christmas time. So yeah, anyway, sorry, got this for one pound fifty, And then the last two things I picked up, so I love the... I think the lead up to Christmas and Christmas Eve is so much more exciting than Christmas Day. Obviously Christmas Day as a kid is so exciting. Um, but as you grow up, Christmas Day is almost like, it's not a hassle, it's just like there's a lot of work and then it's all finished. So the lead up to Christmas and Christmas Eve is a really special time. So I like to do like a little Christmas Eve gift, like a pretty gift that their little elf brings to them on Christmas Eve. So I actually picked up these Christmas Eve bags. So this, um, I bought two different ones, one for Aria and one for Colt. I think you can get like you can go online and get their named bags but these were only three pound and it's exactly what i'm looking for because they don't get a lot it's mostly like a little bit of chocolate like last year my daughter got a slime kit she got a couple of sort of coloring books a little stretchy toy thing that she played with and a book and some chocolate that was what she got colt got a little shaker toy a little bit of chocolate and he got a book and so it's just something to open on Christmas Eve. It kind of just gives them that little bit of excitement. Um, and so, yeah, I just thought it was really exciting. So I picked up these two Christmas Eve bags. They were £3 each. And I think they would be perfect with a little note from their elf saying, thank you for being good kids. And obviously I'm on my way back to help Santa with the presents. But I've left you a little treat just before Christmas. I'm so excited. I can't stop thinking about it. Anyway, yeah. So I picked these up and my daughter didn't see me actually put them in the trolley. So that was good. So I can leave them out for the elves to fill up for them. And so yeah, I think that is absolutely everything that I've picked up. Um, it was an unexpected shopping trip. We went in to get a gift and I've come out spending probably about £40, I don't even know. Um, but I mean, there's nothing that's unnecessary. It's just things that I probably didn't need to get straight away. But it's things that I have wanted. I'm excited to try the baking stuff out. I think that would be fun. Obviously at Christmas, I'm excited about this. The Halloween stuff and the new shower thing will be quite good to try as well. Anyway, I really... I, this was meant to be like a little mini haul, but I talk obviously far too much as I usually do. So I really hope that you enjoyed this little B&M haul. If you did, please make sure you give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you want me to share any tips and tricks that I do on saving money at Christmas. 
it's just a couple of things that I do that really does help me save some money and things that I use as a saving tool. Um, one of the main things is, is shopping early and that's what I've been doing and obviously looking to see what I can get deal wise. So I've done that. Um, so let me know if that is something that you're interested in and yeah I really hope that you enjoyed this video and if you're not subscribed I'd love it if you would and turn on your notification bell because I am hoping to start uploading a little bit more regularly. But anyway I really hope you enjoyed thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!